The Science of Tsunamis In 2004, the world's most destructive earthquake occurred in human history. This earthquake occurred in Sumatra, Indonesia. The earthquake had a magnitude of 9.1 to 9.3 and is the third largest recorded earthquake. It had the energy of 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs. This resulted in a series of tsunamis. This caused 100 feet high waves and devastated coastlines of 11 countries namely Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka and Thailand, killing more than 2,30,000 people. There are many instances where tsunamis have devastated many lives and property. But have you ever wondered how tsunami occurs? If you are curious to know this, then watch this video till the end. Also, at the end of the video, we will share some great tips on how you can survive a tsunami. So let's first see what is a tsunami. A tsunami is a series of very long waves caused by sudden and large displacement of the ocean. Basically, tsunamis are just larger versions of regular waves. So let's see how tsunamis occur. Most tsunamis are caused by earthquakes and so, according to the Global Historical Tsunami Database, around 80% of the tsunamis are caused by earthquakes. But tsunamis are also caused by landslides due to the volcanic activity and also due to colliding of near-earth objects like asteroids, comets colliding or exploding above the ocean. Thus, a force is created that radiates in all directions away from its source. Curious minds must be thinking, can a tsunami be predicted? The answer is yes, a tsunami can be predicted. The Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunamis, that is also called as DART, is a system used to predict tsunamis. DART was established by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration on 3rd October 1970. DART uses unique pressure records that are installed at the bottom of the ocean. These recorders detect slight changes in the water pressure. DART transmits this data to a ground station by satellite via a surface bureau, thus predicting a tsunami. Also, tsunamis can be predicted by an earthquake. If an earthquake occurs in a location, especially the sea area, then a tsunami is likely to occur. So, you must have heard the saying, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And so, if you unfortunately get trapped in a tsunami situation, here are some tips on how you can survive it. Number 1. First thing to do in a tsunami situation is to go to a higher ground because a tsunami will first affect lower ground areas. Also, you can consider going on top of your building with some essentials if very less time is left with you. And if unfortunately you get trapped in a tsunami, try grabbing an object that floats on water, for example, a wooden object. Number 2. Stay in the safe place for at least 8 hours. When you find a safe place, consider staying there since tsunami activity can continue for at least 8 hours. Number 3. If you see downed power lines, then be away because if you come in contact with it, you can get electrocuted. Number 4. Stay away from buildings and bridges since the debris of these structures can kill you. So now you have all the answers on how and why tsunamis occur and how to survive a tsunami. If you like this content, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.